it was hilarious. Trump getting coronavirus was like when Freddie Mercury got AIDS. N- nobody was like, well, how did he get it? You know, that was, that, that, that he, was, he, that was he, he turned that around. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah. oh man, Freddie Mercury, why are you, why are you doing this? <laughs> when, when he flipped it, I was like, okay, that was brilliant. No, that, yeah. that, that was funny, man. Hey everyone, support our Patreon, which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams, videos, and podcasts while bringing you new content such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts. Hey, look, uh, where they say, remember, remember the 7th of November. (laughs) It was a great day for some people and for some people, I mean, usually I always say this is an exaggeration, but it's not. For some people, it was a nightmare. (laughs) There was a woman that's what I mean by nightmare. There's a woman who had to look at the house that she painted the words Trump on. Oh, no. With a big ass flag and had to look at that and be like, great googly boo. <laughs> oh, f- did I just do it? <laughs> This is why some of these people like Trump because they just invested too much crazy shit in it. Sure, sure. It became like a religion. It became like a religion. If I'm sorry, if, if you painted your house the American flag colors and put Trump's big ass name on there, yeah, you're going to be upset because now you got to go paint that shit all over. <laughs> well, that, that's, that's easy. There's probably people who got tattoos. So this past weekend, just yesterday at the moment of this recording, Dave Chappelle was on Saturday Night Live once again, pretty much a year after he, four years ago, I'm sorry, not a year, yeah. but four, yeah. pretty much four years ago after the last election, where he came on and had to be the bearer of bad news and try to make everybody happy. This time, for a lot of people out there, he came on with a little bit of better news. Now, you know, he was very funny, as at, at least I think. Did you see his, his monologue? I did. I did not think he was that funny. I thought, okay, thank you. I, I thought he was funny at taking some of the, some of the stuff that people are kind of tired of hearing about, or some of the stuff that's, that's more tragic, it also helped that everybody else already found this shit funny and were ready to laugh. Yeah, I mean, when Dave Chappelle shows up, people are ready to laugh. Yeah. And they would, and as he was doing this, they were doing the thing I find most annoying, where he'd tell a joke and then they'd, they'd clap. Yeah, that, well, you know, like, probably had that sign up there. But I tell you this much, it also helps that when Dave Chappelle shows up, people, you know, like, oh my God, comedy legend Dave Chappelle. Yeah, right. Mark, Mark Twain award winner. By law, I am required uh, to laugh. Yeah. <laughs> I will. I will get a a, 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 a violation. I will get a, a, a. I will get a ticket. Hey man, that's Dave Chappelle up there. I look like you're not laughing. Yeah. No, no, I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, people. Boy, you. Yeah, people. You know, I tell you this much, but it also, you know, you you're required to laugh when Dave Chappelle comes out. Dave Chappelle will actually stop the show and say, "Why aren't you laughing at me right now?" <laughs> Don't you know this is what you are supposed to do? We'll take a long drag of that cigarette and just wait. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Honestly, to me, it felt like he was working out his material on SNL. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, no. <laughs> at at one point, he practically admitted he that. Probably, yeah. yeah, he probably, yeah, he said I took a private jet. He wrote that shit on the plane ride over, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. But I would tell you this. It also helps that you choose material where people are already laughing. Listen, call it mean-spirited, call us assholes. But when everybody heard that Trump got corona, that was a joke within itself. Hell yeah. That yeah. shit worked. Yeah. It was hilarious. Trump getting coronavirus was like when Freddie Mercury got AIDS. N- nobody was like, well, how did he get it? You know, that was, that, that, that he, was, he, that was he turned that around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah. oh man, Freddie Mercury, why are you, why are you doing this? <laughs> when, when he flipped it, I was like, okay, that was brilliant. No, that, yeah. that, that was funny, man. Remember that video where he's walking to the helicopter all by himself? No one to be around. Usually he's walking to the helicopter with a bunch of people. No one's around at this time because, you know, you know, he had the Rona. <laughs> See, so th- th- that stuff is brilliant. All the Corona stuff is brilliant. You notice I haven't paid play at the beginning of it because I felt like a lot of that was a warm up. You know, this is some of his best material right here. I'm from D.C. and I got to tell you, uh, Walter Reed is not close to the White House, but you can walk. <laughs> <laughs> Team of doctors was waiting for. See, him. that was that moment, Chappelle, like you motherfucker. Better laugh. <laughs> yeah, I was so like, I, I, I don't get it. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. He. Yeah. I got it. Uh, 
Yeah, I'll explain later. But yeah, I, I got it. I, yeah, it's I, his delivery that needs improvement, though. Yeah, That's I mean, I, I I thought it was funny that mm-hmm. that dog right there, but it's just funny when you just like, hey, you know, I ain't hearing enough laughter. From you. <laughs> <laughs> he just <laughs> funny. Was, was staring motherfuckers in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, that's some intimidation. <laughs> Dave Chappelle is bigger now. And some cold stuff. That would be like me going to a homeless shelter with a bag full of hamburgers. <laughs> Don't let hunger dictate your life. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a pretty good joke right there. I like that. I like that uh, that 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 joke right there. I thought that again that was some of his uh, best material, the Corona stuff. Uh, I like that joke, but he he did that thing at the end. What's that thing? Laughing at his own jokes, yeah. cracking up like like he's never heard it before. He always does. That. He <laughs> I know. Does that. I know. Yeah, he always does. I don't mind. <laughs> he's almost done even finish the punchline. He's still busy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He hits the mic against his thumb. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's, he's, he's you did write this, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, right? Yeah, hell yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> That's him giving the oldest the cue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. right? <laughs> right? <laughs> now I'm playing this because of uh, a couple of things, there, man. Um, you know, uh, uh, I'm sure people watching this, and they were laughing or not, maybe. You know, I mean, they're laughing at some things. Uh, yeah, some things they yeah, weren't. Things. You know, yeah. You know, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he got to this point. You know, of course, as any uh, great comedian does, who's topical, he kind of wrinkles people the wrong way. You know, kind of, kind of gets them a little, uh, little, uh, little angry. And that was slightly the case here with this joke that he told, uh, because as Chappelle often does, he eventually brought it around to make some commentary about race. Anything coronavirus likes to eat, that's what's in Chris Christie's body. Fat, check, asthma, check, diabetes, check. Coronavirus is like, mm, mm. <laughs> Again, yeah, thought yeah. that that was brilliant right there. Yeah. I, I, I loved it. This set right here, I loved it. Now we are starting to enter the point where a lot of my white friends were laughing. <laughs> they were having a good time. Like, hey, 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 wait a minute. What are you talking about? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> we were having a good time. What kind of man makes sure he's okay while his friends fight for their lives and die? A white man. Oh, oh, so this, oh, is, oh this is oh. this is where my where my white friend. <laughs> <laughs> Corey, <laughs> what are you think to save yourself, Corey? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As my ambassador to the black community, <laughs> why? <laughs> what did I do to Dave Chappelle that he had to do this again? And I'm like, oh, no, you know what am I supposed to do? As I said, if something's supposed to have the motherfucker. Dave, can you talk to, to Chad <laughs> real quick? He's upset again. This person apparently also voted for Biden, but they are shocked by Dave Chappelle. And they, they hit me up with the usual. You know, I, I'll, I'll have the usual. Did, did they vote yeah. for Biden? I don't know. See, that's, that's what I'm saying. Thing. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. They, no they, they, secret Trump voters. They I'm claim. You about. Yeah. It's funny how you voted for Biden and you calling me up about this shit right here. <laughs> like, I'm supposed to know. Because going from... The polls to what actually happened. There's a lot of liars out there. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. there's a lot of liars. And he hit me up. He hit me up with the usual. I'll have the why does he have to be so racial? <laughs> with the side of had I said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> what the full meal deal? Yeah, he got the full meal deal. <laughs> Combo. The only, the only thing they didn't ask for. Can I have a nice tall glass? Or can I say the n word? <laughs> you said it. Oh, that's when you supersize. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that people don't want to be generalized. So when Dave Chappelle says a white man, I get it. I get it. You know, uh, of course, not not all of any group is bad. Well, we'll put that out there because it has to be said verbally every now and then, I guess. So there you go. You well, know. let's check in real quick. Chris Herman, how do you feel on this? I thought it was completely fine. I understood exactly what he was saying. Okay. He was saying how <laughs> no one wants to feel generalized because so often in history, black people have been generalized as one specific thing. So I yeah. completely understood his point. Yeah, what yeah, okay. okay see, yeah. Thank I'm not getting mad about it. I Herman's totally cool. got his point. Yeah. But, the, but, but, there is a, whether you like it or not, there is some truth in there. And this election proved all that. Uh, I'm, and this, and again, it's going to sound like I'm generalizing, but I, 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 don't, I don't care. Um, listen, let me put this in context for you. 
with this election of this whole thing of being offended. Well, you know, Dave Chappelle saying a white man and whatnot. I, again, I'm not trying to offend anybody. And I, don't, I hope he didn't offend anybody, but because I'm not generalizing. But uh, it's funny how, and stay with me here, it's funny how we as black people, Chris, are told yes. that we, <laughs> today yeah, you're honorary. He's included. Yeah, yeah. you're honorary. By association Whenever today. you're in this room, you, yeah, you're good. We've adopted you. Honorary, I'll take it. Yes. I'll accept it. Where's the makeup? At? <laughs> Let's not go that don't, far. Don't do that to me. <laughs> Let's not do that. Not ready for that? Okay. No. I don't, don't want to pull you out the comments. No, no, no. It's okay. No, but look, look. It's funny how we're not, you know, we're told we're not American. Still today, people talking about go back to Africa. Like, we just came from the mother. Man, no. <laughs> like people, they can tell us like, turn around, go back. Like we just got off a boat, mm. or a plane. You know, I'm patriotic. You know, there, there are so many people who, who are scared of these knees right here, boy. These knees so, so these knees are tearing the country apart every time they hit the ground. Just a rumble mm. of you tearing America down. Got some powerful legs over here, Martin. <laughs> these <laughs> knees. Oh, you know, uh, we're told that we hate this country. All because we want to defend ourselves. All because we want to bring up things that are not right because we want to make them that better. Un- that are uncomfortable. That are uncomfortable. That we just, you know, we, we, just, we just want to, because we just defend ourselves and they well, make people we, uncomfortable. We, we, we don't want to say anything. Because we're not willing to turn a blind eye to ugly troops. Yeah. And here's what I'm going to say. It's going to make some people mad because you're going to think it's a little self-congratulatory. You're going to think it's bragging. You're going to think it's not even true. You're going to even think it's racist in a way. But I'll go ahead and say it. <clears throat> Because despite all of the bullshit that we have been through, it's funny how, Chris, excuse us, it's funny how we are the ones that saved democracy. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> it's a thankless job, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> you're welcome. You won't, you won't say thank you out loud, but you're welcome. We saved democracy. Nothing against your hard work that no, went into no, it. No, no. But y'all look at it this way. This country was pretty much split in half over who voted for Trump and over who didn't. And the half that that all, the, almost the half that voted for Trump, need I say what the majority of that group looked like? Mm-hmm. I'm curious, what was it? <laughs> okay. You look, you look at me. You don't know. I'm joking with you. <laughs> Jesus. This is, this is a, not a joke. As we said, we want to make yeah. this as entertaining as possible. Mar, I want you to live. I want you to walk out of the room. <laughs> Man, you had a real hitch. Like. <laughs> the majority, if you leave it up to the half, majority of white people in this country voted for Trump. It's funny how we are the ones through ass whippings and injustice and everything. Maybe that's why people love to see us continue to get our ass whooped because we will always fight for democracy as long as there's a, a boot on our neck and a foot up our ass. Yeah, man, you know, I, I heard interviews with white people out there who even, you know, kind of even admitted that, you know, they fine without having shit. <laughs> As long as you niggas ain't got shit, you know. I, as long as Trump is up there and he he looks like me, I, you know, that's fine with me. As long as the status quo is maintained. For all those people who were on top or didn't feel the same struggles as everybody, this is the problem. Democracy was just a toy that y'all got tired of, man. It was a toy that you had for a while, you know, the luster wore off, and you just put it in a corner until a whole new shiny f- orange toy showed up. <laughs> And then all of a sudden you start playing with that. And then you didn't give a you didn't give a shit how crazy it got. Democracy got boring, man. I've never had so many friends told me and this is they didn't even and this is why I say I had to say something. Cuz I had so many friends who I was I was one of if not the only black friend that they had and they didn't understand how bad it was looking in my eyes and telling me Trump's hilarious I'm not for him but that guy's me makes me laugh I say shit ain't funny about that why the fuck you telling me this right now there's not nothing funny about that you know only that kind of person will will laugh at this country being made a mockery out of Mm -hmm. because you don't really grasp how important it is and you're comfortable because you're comfortable and democracy doesn't mean that much more to you 
You know, people. This, this is why. This is why I say we say fucking democracy because it means something to us. Because it felt we felt scared. <laughs> we felt it was dangerous if it mm-hmm. wasn't there. Mm-hmm. A lot of people felt like you know I'll be fine no matter what, whether they know it openly or subconsciously, or whatever. But not everybody knew that shit. You know, we know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody sitting up here looking at this like who who takes it seriously talking about this is hilarious. Right. It got to the point so that you know where the you know lies people like I said people just they were so happy to be entertained even knowing how harmful it was. Man, this was a one to hell with the lies and the corruption and whatnot. People what got me is people embraced the craziness. The craziness of Kanye up in the White House babbling his ass off. Mm-hmm, yeah. Just babbling, man. It was crazy. Oh, what people? This is stuff that happened recently. I mean, forget talking about injecting bleach and sunshine up into your into your body. Trump tweeted out a woman talking about she was people. They, you know what? We we can be stronger and cured if we take the demon sperm out of us. And Trump retweeted that shit and got stronger when they called him on it. They didn't even try to say oops, and it. That's the one time it's like, damn. I'm no, he, he played about the damn. Oh, they, that's not his vocabulary. <laughs> ne- never admits a mistake. Never yeah. says sorry. As long as people felt like they were laughing at something, it was, it was okay, man. For those people that thought it was funny. And granted, look, I ain't gonna lie. We got some, <laughs> we got some great memes out of this shit. We got some great videos. People, it's, it got crazy. And even the, the crazy stuff was not even with them. It was with us, man. So I, I just got to say, you know, I don't even know what to do anymore. Uh, all of you, all you women, you 15% of black men out there, 8% black women. Yeah, I know. I had people who were like, I can't believe the vast majority of black men voted for him. I was like, hey, slow down, slow down. No, it's not the vast a, majority. It's not the vast majority. Yeah, like, who the yeah, yeah, yeah. said that? Yeah. It, it, people, somebody selling, selling something to somebody and them spreading it to the next person. It all mixed yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I get you. No, no man. No, no. <laughs> no, you know what? I, I don't, we're not even trying to change it. Just go sit your ass down somewhere and just get the f*** out the way. So that, that 15%, was it all rappers? I think ah. either rappers are aspiring rappers taking yeah. their money. Yeah, they, <laughs> their yeah they, they were just trying to get their they were just trying to get their their, their record break. demo. You know, <laughs> or, or, they, they're trying to get their record back uh, bankroll. They were trying to get <laughs> Trump to back them up. Yeah, their tax break. Yo, yeah. Kill, put me on. <laughs> yeah, you know, they were trying to get if they, either you were up and coming rapper who wanted to get some money from Trump, or you were somebody who was already accomplished and you just wanted your tax breaks. Yeah, yeah. You know, but y'all just get the out the way just sit down somewhere because mm-hmm. ain't nobody de- ain't nobody dealing with you no more uh latinos oh what the f- is up with you well you know it, it, joe biden got jumped on for saying the latino population uh, are, are, is more diverse than black but he's not wrong he's not no, he's not wrong at all yeah i mean <clears throat> people take it how they want but black people do tend to vote more alike where in Latino population, that's, I mean, you're saying Latino, you're covering South American yeah. and yeah. Mexican and Puerto Rican Cuban. and Cuban. Yeah. And they all have their different ways of looking yeah. at things. Yeah. And a lot of it is, is, is filtered through Catholicism. Yeah, yeah. No, this, no. Latinos are a very diverse group. Uh, authentic, want to pass. <laughs> and I ain't dealing with you, mother- no more, man. <laughs> I I know. <laughs> Yo, you know, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care no more, man. I get it. You know, Cubans have their reasons for what they do. They're scared to. Of communism, you know, because oh, Fidel oh, Castro. Of course, see why? Though. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. Yeah. See, they're, yeah, they're scared of communism. Yet they vote for the guy who's who's butt buddies yeah. with the leader of communism. I know, and, and they they hate Castro for being a dictator, but gravitate to so, somebody who's a wannabe dictator. Yeah, I know, and I get it, man. But see, that's how I break it down. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I don't give a f- anymore. I know people gonna get mad about it, and that's it. And I know, I. I and I know some people are going to say, just like they did one of the reviews, well, you don't speak for us. Guess what? You don't either. <laughs> Somebody has to. Somebody has to that. speak because you don't give a fuck. They took, <laughs> they took y'all, especially kids, they took a lot of people and put them in cages, having y'all looking like a goddamn dog shelter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they're looking like pound puppies and shit. Yeah, Latino zoo. Do y'all, do y'all want to pass that bad that they actually making zoos out of y'all and you cool with it? I know Trump don't like us. I know Trump don't like women except for the part that he can grab every now and then. But for you, motherfucker, he put a visual on it. Yeah. yeah. He said, I'm locking y'all up in cages. I, that is something you never thought you'd see. Do you really want to pass that bad that you don't give a f- that they are treating y'all like zoo animals? Really? Wow. Okay. Well, I hope it works out for you.
And I'm sure it does, because obviously you don't give a shit. And to you, there's a difference. To them, they don't see a difference between yeah. them. Because I can damn sure tell you that 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 vote would not have been 15 percent of black males out there because that I, I leave it down to about two percent. The rest of those other motherfuckers would have joined us and burned that shit down. Had we seen even so much as a shackle put on the pinky toe of a black person? We wouldn't have put up with that shit. Mm-hmm. No. Hell no. Y'all up in cages talking about. Well, I think he's great for the country. Really? All right. Well, All there right. has to be rules about immigration. And the rules are separating kids from their families and locking them in cages. Wow. So Christian of you. Yeah. So very Christian. Yep. It's a good thing uh, Mary and Joseph didn't come over here. Boy. <laughs> and, I, yep. <laughs> and that's. Oh yeah. <laughs> They would have picked Jesus up and <laughs> <laughs> football. <laughs> Where they don't give a fuck as long as it's not here. Yes. And thank yeah, I'm on this is something for the Christians out there. Thank God for you. Uh, y'all made me want to believe that there's a God because he exposed y'all for the oh, fuck yeah, y'all. Yeah, yeah. I I mm-hmm. boy, I'm so happy that y'all that y'all, that, that, that's one thing I'm grateful for Trump. I'm so happy that Trump was able to show y'all for who you really were. Now, I never. Boy, did he yep. ever. I mm-hmm. never, I never, ever, ever have to pretend to like you, mother. <laughs> never. never. <laughs> all I, all, the cool people, yeah, I'm always going, if you live in the word of God and that's what you believe in and whatnot, if you following or at least trying to, fine. But you, for you hypocrites out there, I don't have. The moment you come to me and start talking that God shit, I just have one question for you. Did you vote for Trump? Well, I shut the f- up and get away from me then. all that moral superiority over everyone else that's out the goddamn window yeah, yeah. yep yes don't, it is. don't you yeah. don't you dare yeah. lecture me exactly yeah. don't you yeah don't exactly don't you dare do that shit no i'm so happy i do not have to be nice anymore it's you know I, there are some great things that came out of this <laughs> some truth <surreal. laughs> yeah. i am so happy about that but i will tell you bringing it back to dave Chappelle, there was something he was right about near the end of this and maybe you know Maybe, you know, we, we, we have our own interpretation of it, but there, there is something that he said. And I do agree with this because uh, as much as I'm talking shit against other people out there, I do not think that this is the time for people to start going against each other. Unless you start being fucking stupid, you know, and then we can we can get raw if you want to. But uh, I think it's time for everybody. And Dave Chappelle kind of put this in his own way. It's time for everybody to have someone. Everybody can learn to have a little empathy. The life expectancy of white people is dropping because of heroin because of suicide. All these white people out there that feel that anguish. I'm, I bet those white people behind, I'm so glad they have masks on. We, <laughs> no, no, no. we don't have to pretend to laugh no more. Cause they just been staring at his ass all the time. The very same the thing when I was watching it, it was like, so they bet they're glad they got masks on. They don't, yeah. they don't have to put on a fake smile. <laughs> they ain't moved. You know when you play Mortal Kombat and they got those characters behind <laughs> you that just watch this shit part of the background. Yeah, the background. There might as well be drawings back there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what they're like. Pain. They're mad because they think nobody cares. If you're a police officer, and every time you put your uniform on, you feel like you got a target on your back. Yeah, they signed up for that shit. Yeah, and they've been mm-hmm. targeting other people. They, yeah. they, they kind of did it first. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm trying to understand. But... You guys hate each other for that. And I don't hate anybody. I just hate that feeling. Yeah, I get it, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, you know, everybody need hey, look. Because hey, once you start saying like we did this, uh, we won and whatnot, you know, this not every, not every Trump supporter voted for Trump out of racism. They like, believe it or not, even after what we said, they contributed to it. Yeah, they, <laughs> but, they, they ignored it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they probably ignored it. It certainly <laughs> wasn't a deal breaker for them. Yes. No, no, yes. it was not. Yeah. I get it. They had their own self interest at heart. All right, but you definitely contributed to it. But I know what you would. You probably were thinking, you know, I had to look out for myself for whatever reasons you saw. Okay, fine. I, 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 I don't. What's that? Like where you are, where you say, like, I, I get it. Yeah. I, I don't get it. I, I, I do. Because uh, I've talked to some people who, and it's one, somebody's dad I even talked to. I've talked to, it's just somebody you even know I talked to. And I've, I've had to talk to a lot of people and understand why they are doing what they're doing. And either they, either they did it because out of, out of some economic fear that was put into them because they've been lied to right or but they but they, they have no problem with the the, the, the racism aspect. well they, I just, mean, they just ignore it they just like well that doesn't apply to me well you so know I what I, I talked to one person I'm just curious. and we all know and we all know this person and yeah. i talked to them and that person actually told me they said you know what you know what made me understand what you're talking about with this is that you were the first one who did not 
ridicule me. I get angry at me for my decision, my decision to vote for Trump. And I actually did not vote for Trump after that. I wasn't even trying to convince him. But they just say, you know, every time I talk to somebody about this, they say, you know, I'm stupid or, you know, what's wrong with me? I don't I can't talk to you anymore. Usually I don't I try not to have these knee jerk reactions. I talk to people and I say, listen, you I, I don't I think the, the, the conflict comes in is when you when people feel like they're being told a bully that they have to do something. I just say, look, <clears throat> your choice is your choice. You know, you vote with your conscience. You do what you want to do. I'm just going to lay out why this is very, very, very troublesome to me. Why you're doing this and why this is. I don't know if it'll affect us or not, man, our friendship. But I it's just understand before you go in, just, you know, listen to me. And when you go in and we'll we both know we've had understanding and we'll take it from there. But I don't ever go to somebody like, you know, you don't you ever call me again i, I don't want to hear from you anymore you don't care about me some people just don't they, they call it ignorance or whatever some people just don't know i i'm trying not to be this person who again generalizes all people and believe me is angry to me because really it does tell me no matter what you do you don't care about me you didn't have my best interest at heart but apparently you had yours somewhere and maybe i need to understand it but whatever uh you know moving forward though I would, I would ask people to just try to have some empathy because what happened? What, we, you know, we are where we are. Yeah, yeah. You know, now you and, can keep. In, in yeah. four years, we'll be back here again. Yeah. yeah. Shit, Trump might be back here in four years. Yeah, yeah. No, that's what they were saying mm-hmm. that he could run again in four years. He could run again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shit. Let's hope. And he's not going to stop tweeting, and and he still has like a lot of influence from those tweets. Might have a network. He's gonna, he's definitely going to start a news network. Mm. Trump TNN. <laughs> that's what he's going to do. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, I, don't, you know, I guess I don't expect anybody to be with me on that. But I just, it's it's only thing that's gonna get worse is if it, if, if if things will get worse if we continue to just go at each other's throats, son. You know, I mean, we can't do anything about anybody out there who are going after us. You know, I believe me, this ain't one of those things where peace, brother. You know, take the high road. No, fuck that. <laughs> Beat somebody's ass if they start trying to come down on you. If that's the way it goes, but we shouldn't have to resort to violence. That's what. That's what we see all these militias and shit doing. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, that'll be my last thing to do. But be careful. <laughs> sure. Yeah.